Na Paris. He carried it out slowly with his white gloves, holding it in front like a waiter with tea service. The ivory casket draped with a single white lily, no bigger than a shoebox. It made its way down the aisle past a few rows of tears. Plaster cherubs hover above to the unmarked car that ended the journey of its short Neapolitan life on earth. When the Allies landed and pushed back the Nazis to Casino, she bled new wounds and added more scar tissue to her already haggard face. Time and time again, invaders came at her all for the greater good, leaving their marks but never changing her colors, only added to them. She adapts. She struggles and takes hits of mockery like no other. Scooters crisscross, cross criss. They bob and weave like Muhammad Ali through streets and alleys that belong to everyone. Africans sell their mojo wares. Asians push contraband. All want a piece of the action just to survive. Everything is theater and everyone is on stage. Backdrops of laundry and graffiti and best seats in the house are curbside. She is ancient. She is alive. When the rouge of the day wears off and heavy night air rolls in from the harbor, then and only then does she settle down. The last train is left and taxis make their final drops of buzzed out businessmen with their dream girls for the night. Deep in her darkness, deep in her dankness, deep in the quartieri, she is in pain, joyous pain. A new life begins, no bigger than a shoebox,